Hi friends, once again good evening and welcome to my channel Mukambiga Nursing. Friends, here we are discussing questions for ESIC exam preparation. ESIC exam is on 7th July. First question, cryptomenorrhea occurs due to options. Option A, Mullerian agenesis. Option B, imperforate hymen. Option C, Asherman syndrome. And option D, none of this. Our question is, what is the cause of cryptomenorrhea? What is cryptomenorrhea? In cryptomenorrhea, female is having normal menstruation. Here, female lady is having normal menstruation, but the menstrual blood is unable to come out. It is not coming outside due to some obstruction in the passage. Here, the patient is experiencing cyclic abdominal pain. This is regular abdominal pain like menstruation, but there is no menstrual blood will come out. It is one of the type of primary amenorrhea and the most common cause of this cryptomenorrhea is imperforate hymen. So, in our option, imperforate hymen is there. So, that is the correct answer. Option B, imperforate hymen. First option, Mullerian agenesis means both Mullerian ducts are absent. So, the female may experience amenorrhea or absence of menstruation. And uh, option C, Asherman syndrome means there will be adhesions present in the uterus and this can lead to amenorrhea. The next question, all of the following structures are homologous except options option a labia majora and scrotum option b labia minora and clitoris option c prostate gland and para uteral gland option d bartholin's duct and corpus gland here question is in among the following options which is not homologous organ homologous organs means those organs in male and female have same embryological origin okay they are homologous that is both male and female have same related origin here we can see the homologous structures in both male and females in males penis is homologous to clitoris in females scrotum in males is homologous to labia majora in females pineal urethra is homologous to labia minora in female and prostate gland it is homologous to para urethral gland in females corpus gland which is same to bartholin's gland in females and testis which is homologous to ovary so in our options option b will come correct labia minora and clitoris labia minora in female is homologous to pineal urethra in male Remaining options are same. Labia majora in female is same to scrotum and prostate gland, paraurethral gland, Bartholin's gland and corpus gland. Both all are correct but option B is not homologous. Move to the next question. Polymenorrhea means options. Option A menses less than 21 days. Option B menses greater than 30 days. Option C bleeding occurs at irregular intervals. Option D none of this. Here the question is what is polymenorrhea? Polymenorrhea means there is a frequent menstruation. That is menstruation occurs at short intervals. The time is time period is less. So correct answer is menses less than 21 days. Okay option A will come correct. And the second option, menses greater than 30 days. That is, it may be 30 days, 40 days or greater than 40 days. That is known as oligomenorrhea. That is, infrequent interval of menses. And option C, bleeding occurs at irregular interval is known as metrageia. Move on to the next question. The absolute contraindication of electroconvulsive therapy is options. Option A, arised intracranial tension. Option B, rectinal detachment. Option C, diabetes mellitus. Option D, myocardial infraction. Question is, the contraindication of ECT. Contraindication means, for which patient we can't give ECT? Electroconvulsive therapy. And the correct answer is for raised or increased intracranial pressure. 
contraindications of ECT we can see first one increased intracranial pressure this is the absolute contraindication of ECT and second one cerebrovascular accident or stroke case we are not giving ECT and third one for severe hypertension and fourth one recent episode of myocardial infraction or heart attack here our question is absolute contraindication of ECT so the answer is option A raised intracranial tension or raised intracranial pressure on to the next question antidepressant drug that can be used in nocturnal enuresis is option option a imipramine option b fluoxamine option c phenylazine option d bupropion question is which antidepressant drug can be used for nocturnal enuresis nocturnal enuresis means involuntary urination that occurs at night or it is known as bed wetting. Okay. So, correct answer is it is imipramine. Option A. And the next question. What is the drug of choice for obsessive compulsive disorder? Options. Option A. Alprazolam. Option B. Imipramine. Option C. Fluoxendine. Option D. Benzodiazepine. Drug of choice for OCD. OCD means obsessive compulsive disorder and the correct answer is it is option C fluosectin option C and the next question cutis murmurata occurs due to exposure to options option A cold temperature option B dust option C hot temperature option D humidity cutis murmurata is most commonly seen in infant skin it is due to exposure of cold temperature and the skin of the infant become bluish red appearance. Okay, so the answer is exposure to cold temperature. Option A is the correct answer. And the next question, a nurse is assessing for correct placement of nasogastric tube. The nurse aspirate the stomach content and check the content for pH. The nurse verifies correct tube placement if which pH value is noted. Here the question is a nurse is assessing the correct placement of NG tube. NG tube or nasogastric tube for a patient. And for that she aspirated stomach content from the patient and checked the pH value of the stomach content. Among this option which pH value indicate the tube is in correct placement? Here, if the NG tube or nasogastric tube is in the stomach, then the pH value, pH of the stomach content will be acidic. The pH value of gastric content is 3.5 or lower than 3.5 may indicate the tube is in correct placement placement or to be seen in a gastric location here correct answer is option a 3.5 and option b7 it is slightly acidic ph okay and option 3 it indicate neutral ph and option 4 indicate an alkaline ph so acidic ph means the tube is in correct placement and the next question a nurse is caring for a client with a chest tube turns the client to side and the chest tube accidentally disconnects. The initial nursing action is to options. Option A call the physician. Option B place the tube in a bottle of sterile water. Option C immediately replace the chest tube system. Option D place sterile dressing. Here the question is a nurse is caring for a client with chest tube and while turning the client to one side the chest tube is accidentally disconnected okay what is the initial nursing action here here the nurse turned the patient to one side the chest tube is disconnected so what the nurse should do immediately immediately she should place the tube in a bottle of sterile water if the chest drainage system is disconnected means what the nurse should do is immediately she should place it the end of the tube in a bottle of sterile water and it should be kept below the level of the 
chest that is the initial nursing action then she should inform or she should call it to the physician and if it is necessary means we have to replace the chest trainer system and can dress in that all will come later but the main immediately what she should do is place the tube in a bottle of sterile water on to the next question what is normal carbon dioxide tension of arterial blood is options option a 20 to 25 mm of hg option b 25 to 30 mm of hg option c 35 to 40 mm of hg and option d 50 to 65 mm of hg question normal carbon dioxide tension of arterial blood it is 35 to 45 mm of hg option c is the correct answer normal arterial blood gas value we can see here question arterial blood okay ph of arterial blood is 7.35 to 7.45 partial pressure of oxygen 80 to 100 mm of hg and partial pressure of carbon dioxide is 35 to 45 mm of hg and bicarbonate is 22 to 27 milli equivalent per liter and the next question the normal Pacemaker of the heart is options. Option A sinoatrial node. Option B bundle of his. Option C AV node. Option D myocardium. Pacemaker of the heart is sinoatrial node or SA node. Option A is the correct answer. And the next question N acetyl cysteine is administered to a patient undergoing cardiac angiography to prevent. Options. Option A. Bleeding from the arteries. Option B. Infection. Option C. Contrast induced nephropathy. Option D. All of this. Question. What is the reason for giving n acetylcysteine to a patient undergoing cardiac angiography? It is to prevent contrast induced nephropathy. Option C is the correct answer. And the next question, which of the following terms denote patient inability to owe it even through the kidneys are producing urine that enters the bladder? Options, option A, urgency, option B, retention, option C, oliguria, option D, anuria. Here the question is, kidneys are producing urine and it enters the bladder but the patient is unable or patient can't able to avoid urine or patient can't able to pass urine that is known as retention option b is the correct answer first option urgency means it's a sudden or frequent need to pass urine that is known as urgency and option c oliguria means and the option C, oliguria means decreased quantity of urine. And anuria means total absence of urine or marked decrease in urine. That is known as anuria. And the next question, kind stroke respiration means. Options, option A, difficulties in breathing. Option B, rapid breathing. Option C, periods of apnea and hyperventilation. Option D, moist breathing. Kind stroke respiration means period of apnea and hyperventilation. Option C is the correct answer. And the next question. Blue ear drum is seen in options. Option A. Serous otitis media. Option B. Tympanic perforation. Option C. Otoria. And option D. All of this. In which condition blue ear drum can see? And the correct answer is it is option A, serous otitis media. So here we discuss most important questions for ESIC exam preparation. Surely these questions will helpful for your studies. If it is useful for your studies, please subscribe my channel and share my videos to your friend circle. And the next set of questions we can see in the next video.